All right, guys, today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be waterproofing the outside of our foundation. Um, and I'll show you what we're doing that right now. What we're doing right now is we're putting on an asphalt coating onto the outside of our cinder block or our CMUs. Um, and what we're also doing is we're going along with a brush and putting that same asphalt sealer down at the cold joint between our pad and our first piece of block. Uh, we're brushing that in and we're rolling everything else. I thought it would be a lot thicker than it is, but it's actually not too bad. So I'll go ahead and show you what we're doing back here. All right, so what we got back here is Yvonne is rolling this stuff on. Um, we're just using just a normal paint roller. I think it's a 3 8 um, nap to it, and it seems to be doing pretty good. She just rolls it right on like that. Um, we just laid this course of block right here, so we're not going all the way up because it's still considered green. It says not to go on green concrete. And we just pretty much brushed um, the, all this stuff off, all of the... Uh, loose material and whatnot on here um, so that's what we did for that and she's just literally just rolling it on I think this is going to take two coats um, the way it's going on it's sucking it in pretty good um, but so far this side and the side over here uh, we did and we're probably about um, two gallons maybe into it right now we got a five gallon pail so uh, it's going pretty good. Um, we wanted to get this little section done. We obviously still need to do more block on top, um, but with rain and stuff coming, it's getting colder. We were worried about this stuff rolling out, so we just wanted to get this stuff on. Um, while it's still warm out, it is November right now, so we definitely are worried about it um, getting cold. So that was definitely a concern for us. Um, <clears throat> So we'll keep her going on that, rolling, and I'll show you what I'm doing with the cold joint over here. All right, so this is our cold joint right here. We have our pad here. We have our first joint with our uh, first CMU block. So this is what they call a cold joint. It's not, um, both were not wet when they were put in, the concrete had dried, and then we put the block down. So it's a cold joint and it's not fused very well. Um, it is good, but we really need to waterproof this. So all we're doing is we're just going along with a brush and just really schmutzing this up like this. Giving this a good layer with the brush. So that's basically all we're doing. Now, um, if this is a really thick coating in here, it's gonna take a while to dry. Um, if this does need a second coat, we'll obviously go back and hit this again when we do um, roll on our another coat onto this. But uh, for right now, this is a really thick coat. I think it should be fine. Um, but that's all I'm doing is just brushing this on the cold joint and about an inch or two up. Um, and this is where you're gonna be most worried about your water seeping into your building at. Um, so you definitely wanna um, check this out. This is the only stuff that our local building supply house had. Um, it was YBC or YBS, I forget what, what it's called, your building supply or center or something. Um, that's what we got. Um, they didn't have anything specifically just for foundations. I would love to hear what you guys are rolling on to here. I was going to go with poly wall stuff. Um, they have a, a paint on stuff. It is insanely expensive. It was like $240 for a five gallon we paid $41 for a five gallon for this asphalt stuff. So uh, that, oh man, it's, it's such a cool product, but it is so expensive. So I, I would like to have gone with Polywall. I think they have some amazing products. Um, they even have something for the cold joint. It's like a blue, uh, I don't, I'm gonna say it's like a 2000 something um, is the number for it. And it's specifically for cold joints around windows and stuff. So you can use that, um, but since we had this, we're just gonna go with this. It's a cheap alternative, um, but this is, like I said, this is our last um, case defense right here because we are gonna put some XPS on the outside. We're also gonna put a dimple mat. That is the plan um, if we still go with that. So this is, like I said, it's last um, case defense. It's gotta go through that dimple mat, which is a plastic non-permeable. 
got to go through the XPS and then hit that tar, asphalt tar on here and get into the block. So there's a couple barriers that water has to penetrate through um, before it even gets here. So I'm not too worried about going super high um, quality. If we were doing just this stuff, no dimple mat or anything, I probably would go with that poly wall. But since we're going to spend some money on dimple mat, um, we're just going with the cheap stuff on the block to seal it up. It'll also pass our code. Um, and we can get signed off on our foundation then. So we're gonna keep going with this. Um, like I said, we're kind of in the middle here. We still have block to do. We still have some more painting up uh, top for waterproofing. So we definitely have some more to do um, as far as waterproofing. So um, we'll kind of keep you in the loop as we go with this because this it is an evolving process. Um, as we go, we hit, like I said, we hit this now because it's super warm out. Um, we are in November and um, I'm afraid we're not gonna have some warm days to get this stuff rolled on. So we wanted to get as much as we could waterproofed right now, especially this cold joint down here. We did have to clear off all of the, um, all of the mud and stuff um, that we dropped from uh, when we we're scraping off and doing our joints and stuff. So that was a big pain. Um, I wish we would have done the cold joint as soon as we got this first layer down. That would have been so much easier, um, but um, we just had to scrape off all of that uh, stuff that fell down and hit here, splattered all over. We just took a wrecking bar and just kind of scraped it up. It was pretty easy, but it was kind of a pain. Um, like I said, once we had this first block of course down, we probably should have just done something with the cold joint right away. Uh, it would have been cleaned and nice for us. So. All right guys, so here is the completed block section. Um, we got all of our block in, we got our, all of our bond beams, and we have all of the asphalt coating on all three sides. We didn't do the front, we just did the sides that's getting dirt. So we, you can see here, we have all of our anchor bolts in and everything is squared away with this. Uh, now this is coming into winter, uh, so we did let this over winter. We actually didn't start framing right away because I really didn't want to do that in the dead of winter. So we just left it like this over winter and then we just kind of picked up in spring. So uh, this is, it turned out pretty good. I was really happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and head over to Appalachian DIY for more videos. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you next time.